if I'm anything like anyone in the Dr. Proctor series, it would be Dr. Proctor. I'm, I'm Dr. Proctor. I'm the, I'm the crazy professor who uh, comes up with inventions uh, that nobody can use for anything, but that are quite, you know, funny inventions that, uh, you know, like farting powder or like um, shoes that you can balance on, uh, on um, anything with, that you can climb mountains with, or that you can cut wood with. Um, yeah, I, I would be definitely Dr. Proctor. It remains to, uh, uh, to be seen, seen whether I will write more books in the series. Uh, I actually plan to write only three books, but after the third book uh, I was at a uh, meeting with the class and uh, for some reason I, I, I promised to write a fourth book. So uh, this time I will not, not go to any meetings with the classes anymore because they will just you know, give me more work to do, homework sort of. Dr. Proctor and uh, the Great Gold Robbery starts in Oslo. Um, uh, three brothers from, from England, uh, the famous or infamous Crunch brothers, are there to, uh, to steal the gold in the Bank of Norway. Um, so um, uh, Norway is, um, without any, anybody knowing this um, yet, is actually bankrupt. Um, the only one who knows is, uh, is the king of Norway and um, the chief at the bank, uh, the managing director. And uh, so they decide that they have to very discreetly uh, contact the best agents they know in, um, in Norway to get the gold back before anybody um, discovers what has happened. And um, you know, these have, these have to be really special agents uh, who has um, experience in, uh, in, in saving countries and maybe even in saving the world. And uh, for those of you who remember the last book uh, with Dr. Proctor, there is three people in Norway who actually can and have saved the world. And uh, that's uh, Dr. Proctor, the crazy professor that invented the farting powder. And then it's um, uh, Bulle, or uh, Nilly, as he's called in the English version, who is this really tiny, small guy with uh, red hair and, uh, and, and, and sideburns, actually, which is quite impressive for a guy who's around 11 years old, I guess. Um, and um, then uh, uh, there's this, well, uh, normal, but very nice and smart girl, uh, Lisa. Um, and those three are the three people that the king and um, uh, the secret garden, uh, who is so, sort of the secret service of the king, uh, contact. And um, they agree to uh, take on this mission and they are going to London to uh, try to in infiltrate the Crunch brothers and their uh, gruesome uh, mother and um, it's, it's, it's a really dangerous mission and uh, I'm honestly, I'm not sure uh, whether they will make it or not.